Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a, like a brown smoky eye tutorial. So it's going to be like a basic brown smoky eye. I'm not going to be using any pigments or like doing a cut crease or anything. I'm just going to do like a full brown smoky eye because why not? And I'm going to be using a few of the new products that I got from Look Fantastic as well. So I'll be trying out some new stuff that I've never tried before. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. So just before I start, I'm going to start my makeup by doing my eyes today just because we're going for a darker eye and I don't want any fallout on my makeup. So before I get into that, I'm going to just spray my face using the MAC Fix Plus Coconut scent and I'm going to just spray my face. This is great for determining whether you're oily or dry in certain places. So if you're oily, the spray will tend to kind of sit on top rather than soak right in. So I'll show you that now. So I'm just going to spray my face. Mm -hmm. This is new, so. So my skin's quite dry, but I am quite oily in like my T zone and stuff. So you can kind of see here that it's kind of sitting on top. So that kind of tells me where I'm more oily or where I'm more dry. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that and let that sink in before I do anything else with my skin. So I'm gonna start with brows now. So obviously I'm going in with the same products I always use. I'm gonna use the Refi Beauty Brow Sculpt and I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. And yeah, I'm gonna start with this first. So I'm just gonna comb this through my brows. Literally the best like brow soap kind of thing I've ever gotten. I just find that um, a lot of people love like the pencil and the pomade. I do like the pencil, but I just find that it's a little bit chalky and so is the pomade. I don't know why, uh, maybe I'm not like, maybe I'm applying too much or something, but um, I just found it a little bit chalky. So I just like to use this and then go in with my NYX pencil. So I know in my last YouTube video, I applied my pencil first and then put this on, but I'm gonna try it the other way this time. And I'm gonna really like kind of give my brows that laminated effect. So I'm gonna use the little brush that you get as well and really push my brows up and have them like kind of glued to my skin. So as you can see now, they look like they've after, they're after being laminated, which I love. I love that look so much. Now that I have my brows all stuck down with the brow sculpt, I'm going to go in with my pencil and just create like hair strokes kind of. So I do find it a lot harder to get like the colour payoff when I use the brow sculpt first. So I do kind of have to go in with quite a good bit of product. But I kind of want my brows to be more like kind of fluffy today. So I'm not really going to define them too much. And I always kind of bring my brow out a little bit further into the centre of my face. So I just feel like naturally my brows look a bit too far away from each other and I look a bit like fish. So yeah, wow, I really should take the lid off. So I'm just going to go in with the spoolie on the end of this brush and just kind of brush the product through. And yeah, I think I'll just leave them like that for now. But yeah, I... I do kind of prefer putting the brow product in first and then going in with the brow sculpt. I just find it works a lot better. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they are kind of going a little bit chalky. But sure, look, what can you do? They don't look that bad. So yeah, I'm going to just do the other brow and then I'll be back. So I finished my brows and I just went in with the P. Louise base then just to prime my eyelids. So it's this one here. It's rumor number two. So I just carved out my eyebrows and primed my eyelids. So the palette then I'm going to use then for the brown smoky eye is the Hot Fire Remastered palette by So Su. And yeah, it's just such a perfect like brown smoky eye palette. Like it's literally the most essential palette. Like you need to get it. 
and you can get it on the South Sea by Suzanne Jackson website and you can use my discount code, I'll leave it on the screen, to get 15% off if you want to. So yeah, it's the palette here. So as you can see, it has really nice warm tones in it. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with then is, which one am I going with? I'm gonna go in with Warmth. So this one here, it's just like a perfect like brown, dark brown kind of chocolatey color. So I'm gonna go in with that first and I'm just gonna pack it all over my lid. So I'm just going in with a Real Techniques um, blending brush. So I'm just gonna tap into that product. And these shadows are so, so pigmented, so you don't really need a lot. And they're so buildable as well. So I'm literally gonna start by just pressing that all over my lid. And as I said, I'm not gonna go in with any like pigments or like cut my crease or anything. So I'm literally just packing that on and getting the colour payoff that I want. And I'm just going to blend out the edges slightly and then I'll probably go in with like more of an orangey kind of tone as well just to blend it out. So once I have the colour then that I like on my eyelid, I'm going to go in with a different shade now and just blend out the edges. So I think I'll go between Flicker and Ignite. So they're kind of like orangey toned kind of... Um, shadows so I'm gonna go in with them and just blend out the edges of the shadow then so I'm literally just taking it like 50% on the shadow and 50% on the skin just to get a nice blend really hope you can see what I'm doing Excuse me looking like an egg today. My hair hasn't been washed, so I had to kind of gel it back. But, you know, actually just building that colour up. And then just really softening it out with the same brush. So as you can see, it's setting, it's getting kind of softened out now. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade that I used before and just really build up that brown again. And then I'll probably go back in. So it's just like a repeating process. Like you just keep going back in with the same colours just to get the colour payoff that you want. But of course you could leave it like that, like leave it that shade if you wanted to. But I like to go in and just make it a little bit darker. Now that my eyes are all done um, with the shadows, I'm going to go in with a brown eyeliner so it's just a mac pencil it's in the shade costa riche and it's a really warm brown like it nearly looks like when especially when it's on blue eyes it looks kind of red but it's really really nice so i'm just going to go across my lash line i'm just doing this just to really darken my lash line so my eyelashes kind of blend in just to blend that eyeliner out i'm going to go in with the shade smolder so this is a really like cool toned dark brown but it'll just really make the eyes look really smoky and dark so i'm just going to blend that out now and i'm just using a morphe um 431 brush so it's a really small like little bullet brush and i'm just going over that shadow that's all blended you can see that the eyes look a lot darker now that I did that so I'm gonna go in with some mascara now so I'm going in with a new mascara that I haven't tried so it's the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara and it's meant to be amazing I've seen so many people using it and they said it was unreal so this is what the brush looks like on it so it looks like a good brush and it's not a plastic brush it's one of the like real kind of what's that word I don't know they're I don't know what they are but they're not plastic so I'm just gonna coat my lashes. I am going in with false lashes, so it doesn't really matter how much I put on of the mascara. And you probably won't be able to see how good the mascara is because my eyes are so dark, but we're gonna use it anyway. It is good. That's really after like, can you see that? Okay, that mascara is a yes from me I really like it when I have no makeup on and I curl my lashes and all I'll be able to see like the real difference but yeah 
I really like that mascara. So for lashes then, I'm going to go in and use the Clean Makeup by Suzanne Jackson lashes. So I'm going to use these ones here. They're real full and fluffy. I love them. So these are in the style of Clay. And yeah, I'm going to pop them on now and then I'll be eye well. Look at them lashes. I'm obsessed. Like, let me tell you, these will be getting reused until the hairs are falling out of them. Because, oh my lord they look like minx i'm obsessed what the hell and as far as i know they're still available to purchase on the south Sea website so you need to get them because they are literally the best lashes i've ever put on i'm obsessed i love them so start with skin and as usual i'm gonna go in with my pixie brightening perfector just where i'm a little bit more oily and i'm gonna just rub that into the skin So I'm literally just applying it to my T-zone. Stop staring at them lashes. And the next product then I'm going to go in with is the strobe cream in the shade Peach Light. Again, as usual. So I'm just going to apply that just to the rest of my face. And as you know, I love the strobe cream. Just the best ever. And it is available to purchase on the Look Fantastic website. As you know, you can use my discount code for 20% off. I'll leave it on the screen. So most of the products that I'm using today are available to purchase on the Look Fantastic website. Um, the Maybelline mascara is available to purchase as well, but you just can't use my discount code on it. But it's already very cheap. It's only like, like 11 euro or something. But everything else like the MAC and the Pixie and the NARS and stuff like that, you can get my discount on. So go and treat yourself. So for foundation then, let me let me just ask you to guess, what foundation am I going in with? You guessed right, it's NARS. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Barcelona because I love you. It's my baby. And again, available to purchase and look fantastic, to get money off, use my code, all that jazz. So yeah, I'm going to go in with this. The brush I'm using then is the brush I always use, which is the Peaches and Cream PC04. It's just a really big, fluffy brush, but I just love it for a foundation. I find that it puts it on so, so nice. So I'm just going to start blending that into my skin. Every time I put it on, I'm like, oh my God, I love you. And we have a friend as well. I don't know if you could see. But we're going to cover that bitch up. Because we don't want her on my face. So I'm just blending it down my neck as well. And onto my ears. It's a tiny bit dark for me at the moment. Because my tan is kind of washing off. But who wears pale foundation? Because I definitely don't. Look at that glow. That's my foundation all blended in. So for concealer then, I'm going to go in with the NARS Natural Radiant, not Natural Radiant, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. So I'm just going to apply this in my usual places. So my chin. Nose. Forehead. And then I'm going to go under my eyes as well. Then to blend that out then I'm going to go in with the Peaches and Cream PC28 brush and I'm just going to start blending where I put it in the centre of my face and I always just leave, leave it under my eyes for a few more seconds just so I can get the most coverage out of it. It's such an easy concealer to blend out, like it doesn't dry down too quickly so you do have time to work with it which is what I like. And then I'm just gonna blend underneath my eyes then as well. And I always love to have like a really bright under eye for when I do like a dark smoky eye. I just think it looks really nice. So that's just made such a big difference. So 
so I'm just gonna blend the rest in and then I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just blend over the edges. Then I'm gonna go in with some cream contour. So I'm gonna go in with my So Seal by Suzanne Jackson contour stick in the shade Warm. And I'm just gonna apply it to all the usual places. Again, you can use my discount code on this as well, on the website. So I'm bringing it up quite high because I have a dark eyeshadow on. I like to kind of like blend the shadow back into my temple. I just find that it just really like brings your eyes out and gives them like a lifted effect. So I'm just going along my jawline as well. And then I'm just going to take a little small brush, small brush and just going down my nose. blend that out then I'm gonna go in with my peaches and cream pc06 brush just to blend that out so I'm just starting with my forehead first and I'm blending it back into my hairline as well such an easy product to blend out like it's unreal and like you can leave it for a while you don't have to work quick with it like it doesn't dry down really quick so you can blend it out so easily it just creates such a lovely base for your bronzer to sit on That's all blended out. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder now. So I'm using a new powder today that I got from Look Fantastic. So it's the Laura Mercier powder. And I've heard so many good things about this. Like so many people use it and they say how amazing it is. So I am not, like I'm not really into loose powders. I'm normally like, I like pressed powders. But since I heard like such good things about this, I was like, oh, I have to try it. So I'm just gonna take the brush that I always use. So just my MAC brush and just dip into the product. I'm not gonna bake or anything using it. I'm just gonna press it under my eyes. Oh, it's really like brightening. Even though it's translucent. So I'm just pressing it where my concealer is just so it doesn't crease. So I'm just gonna do one side and just see if we can see a difference. So I just pressed it in first and then just kind of buffed it out. Okay, I don't know if you can see a difference on the camera. But I can't see a difference. So it's really like just smoothened out this side of my face, if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah. Mm. I like that powder. And it's really lightweight as well. It's not very drying on the skin, which I like. I'm gonna try using beauty blenders. I've never used them ever. So, and I've seen people like apply their powder with them and stuff and um, the powder seems to come on really nice. So I do wanna try and use beauty blenders. Um, so I might order a few and try and use them and see what it's like. So I'm just gonna go down the center of my nose with this powder as well. And just on my forehead. So just anywhere basically that I applied the concealer. Like that powder. Really nice, really, really, really nice. So now I'm gonna go in with bronzer and I'm gonna just go in with my usual bronzer, which is the Dark Tan MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm gonna just take this little angled brush and just go in with that. Start with my forehead. And again, I'm just blending it back into my hairline. Oh, I love that bronzer so much. I don't think I'll ever use like 
Well, I will use other bronzers, but I don't think I'll ever have a favourite other than the dark tan because it's just unreal. I really want to try the Holly Bone products like the HMB Cosmetics um, powders and stuff and the bronzers. They're meant to be so good, like they're meant to be so pigmented. So I am going to try and get them. I'm going to try and get like a full face of new products and do like a review. If that is something that you would like to see, let me know. So I'm just applying it just on my cheeks now as well. And again, I'm keeping it really high and then bringing it onto my temple. But that's my bronzer all done. Whenever I do my eyes first, I always forget to do my under eye. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm literally just going to apply the same shadows underneath as I did on top. And I'm going to apply the same pencil in my waterline. So I'm just going to go in to my waterline with the pencil. So as you can see, it's a really warm brown and it kind of looks a little bit like orangey red, but I really like it. And I'm just going in with the same shade that I used to blend out the liner on top and I'm just going to blend out the bottom liner. I just went under my eyes with the same product and I just applied some bottom mascara. So now I'm going to go in with blush. So the blush I'm going to use today is the MAC Powder Blush. And this is in the shade Burnt Pepper. So it's a kind of like a dark mauve kind of colour. I'm not too sure if this is discontinued. I know it's discontinued in store. So you can buy it on the counter. But I'm going to check on Look Fantastic and see if they have it. They might have it. But if not, I'll link a different shade that's similar down below. So I'm just going to go in with this now. A really nice shade. Like it's really, um, it's quite a darker shade. I just find that it'd be nice with like... Like a dark, smoky eye. Oh, hello, blush. That's a lot. Uh. So I'm just going to blend that back out then. Just with my bronzer brush. So as you can see, it's a really nice shade. Like it's not a peachy shade. It's more of like a mauve -y. Is that the word? Mauve? I don't know. But it's a nice shade anyway. So that is my blush all on. I'm just going to apply a little bit to my nose. Because she's cute. So now I'm going to go in with some setting spray so the setting spray i'm going to use today is the urban decay all nighter setting spray so i got this off look fantastic as well and this is the best setting spray ever like it's so so good it keeps your makeup on all day i don't care what anyone says setting sprays do work primers work all that they all work so if you think they don't you think that but they do so i'm gonna go in with this and set my face just before i go in with my highlighter the only thing about this setting spray is it smells really bad like there's a really bad smell of it and i don't know why i'm not big into scented stuff but a nice scent is good do you know what i mean i don't like something that smells like shy but that kind of smells a bit bad but it's really good so you can't have a best of both worlds or best i don't know what i'm saying oh for highlighter then i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury hollywood superstar glow and i'm gonna apply that i'm obsessed with the highlighter it's literally the glowiest most perfect highlighter you'll ever so i just did my highlighter i just went in and put it on the inner corner of my eyes and on under my brow bone so now i'm gonna go in and do my lips so for a lip liner then i'm gonna go in with the morphe lip liner in the shade bite me and i'm just gonna line my lips with that so for lipstick then i'm gonna go in with the mac lipstick in the shade shrimpton so i did have to scrape it out of the little bullet because if you have a MAC lipstick and it's your favourite lipstick and you've reached the end of it, scrape it out. You don't understand how much product is in the bottom of the tube. Like, it's ridiculous. 
so just scrape it out and you'll get your best um use out of it because like that's a lot of product in there like look at that so just definitely scrape them out because there's so much product left I love that lip combo so much. So that's my lips. And then I'm going to just go in with some gloss. So this is the Too Faced Lip Injection. So it's a lip plumper. It's so good. Burns the mouth off you, but it's so, so good. So that is the finished look. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm obsessed with these eyes and the lips and the skin. I just love everything. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. And pop the notification bell on just to be notified when I post more videos. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.